This is scheme of our asynchronous OS switcher. It consists of two NAND logic gates and we have two inputs, set and reset. Let's see parity of our output. And this is parity of our outputs. We can find inverting and non-inverting outputs by these parities. This is true table of our asynchronous IS trigger. We see that when we give both of inputs zero, our uh, output, non-inverting and inverting output equals one, high voltage. And it's not permit to us to give uh, both of inputs zero. This is our uh, scheme, real scheme, uh, simple RS trigger. It's our input S and this our input R. This is S and this is S when we give high voltage to R or maybe uh, S. Our LED starts light like that. And we use micro scheme 40, 40, 11. And this is our input, this is our linear and it's non and it's our non-inverting and this is second LED, it's our inverting output. We know uh, we see that when we give switch S high voltage, our uh, non-inverting output uh, light uh, stops light and when we give high voltage to uh, switch R our inverting output stops uh, light and what is uh, uh, and uh, when we give uh, to the memory uh, adding memory regime when we uh, give to switch R high voltage and by this way, change a, a switch S. We know uh, we see that when we change switch uh, S, uh, of course we give uh, to switch S high voltage. But our output, invert, non-inverting output, uh, not change. This uh, this is me. Uh, this is matter that we adding uh, to memory. It's a symbol uh, trigger and our trigger add to memory. But when we give uh, low voltage to the uh, switch R and and then give uh, to switch S high voltage, our non-inverting input uh, changes. It's a simple scheme, real simple scheme of uh, asynchronous simple RS trigger.